maaskari bila evidence now on, <laughs> on four fourth point my association with one Paul Ndenge Mackenzie of Good News International Church if any mm. I first came to know about Mackenzie on TV mm. 2010 wakati alikuwa KBC nilikuwa namuona vile nilivyokuwa namuona babangu wa kiroho the year 2002 2001 so alikuwa na ubi then <laughs> siku muona tena kwenye television and uh, sometime in 2019 uh, 2020 2021 Nilitamani kuwa kwenye televisheni na sikujua televisheni nitapataje. Okay. So ni kitu kianikujia kwa akili. Why don't you look for a TV station ambao haitumiki? Mm. There are very many. Why don't you look for one? Mm. It ringed on me. Can I sio uh, sio ni ile Times TV. Mm. Na sikuwa namjua na sikuwa na namba yake. Mm. I had never met him in person. So ni kamwambia uh, one of my crusade managers his name is Solomon twendeni tukatafute huyu pasta sababu hatuna namba yake tumuulize kama station yake inafanya na ili collapse imemshinda ku manage mm. tulipofika by go good luck tukampata hapo na baadhi ya watumishi wa Mungu i don't know whether walikuwa wachungaji ama sio wachungaji yeah. walikuwa wameketi nje I introduce myself nikamwambia mimi sio nangi station yako kama iko na uitumi naomba unisaidie nayo kama imekuwa cancelled niambie aliniambia iko si itumi na haijakuwa cancelled mm. it drew me closer to the question number two. Mm. unaweza kunisaidia nayo akaniambia if we agree We sat down I can't remember if it was the following day or not. Mm. We sat down na akaniambia the charges uh, if you want to buy it then 3.5. Mm. By then nilikuwa na 500,000. Mm. Nikamwambia 3.5 mimi sina. Mm. Na nafikiria naweza nikatafuta. Mm. So we agreed kwamba naweza nikalipa pole pole. Mm na it is obvious unalipa pole pole nobody will allow you to sign any document na unalipa pole pole na umelipa what percentage maybe 20 or 17 mm. so akaniambia wewe nenda nimekupa ruhusa ukimaliza kulipa we will sign the document na kwa sababu i think this is what i think i'm not sure mm. kwa sababu nilikuwa na kiu na kuenda stationi mm. because by then nilikuwa natumia ya babangu na alikuwa na ubiri every time alinipa ruhusa ya 30 minutes mm. and i wanted to preach every time mm. nika lipa uh, cash through mpesa mm. uh, i can't remember kama zote zilikuwa mpesa ama zingine nilipea na cash i just want to be precise 500000 mm. then akanipa ruhusa nikaanza kuitumia na vitu vingine zilinifanya sikununua hiyo station number one, kuna wakati ningesikia akiwa na ongea na akiojiana na uh, my fellow brothers muslims mm. na angerifa nyinyi amjui kile ambacho mnasema mm. it, it came out very hard number two, uh, masomo haina faida mm so nenataka tv lakini tv unayotaka mwenyewe ako na ideologies ambao hupendi mm. so nikasema hii station nikiweka kama times tv mtu atafikiria mimi ni yeye mm. naweza nikaibadilisha iwe new life tv mm. uh, watu uh, platform providers wakaniambia it is not easy until you buy it Mm-hmm. but unaweza kuiweka huko kijijini kwako ukaiweke new life tv and that's what i did in coast region ilikuwa new life tv and we were just in coast region mm-hmm. that is how i came to know him i didn't pay anything much we didn't call moja na mwenzake sababu akili yangu ikanikujia 
why don't I buy, I don't I purchase my own TV station? Na mutu wakaniambia, it doesn't cost more than 500,000. Nika muliza, unaweza kunisaidia, wakaniambia ndiyo. Nika sema, thank you Lord, I'm not going to buy this. Na ye pia haku ni uliza na haku ni itisha pesa zingine. So I maintained it in the coast region na nikafungua World Evangelism TV. Now, that is how I came to know uh, Mackenzie and that is all I know about Mackenzie. Unless ni mesao kitu kingine ni kiulizu wa ntajibu. Siku wai kuubiri na ee. Siku wai I don't know maali shakaola iko. Sijawai ona shakaola na macho yangu. I saw shakaola kwa TV wakati maybe viongozi walikuwa wanaenda. Na I think inausika na hii yule mtu ambaye nafikiria alini associate na Shakaola ni mtu aliyeweka article kwa social media kwamba Pastor Ezekiel naye alichukuanga TV ya makenzi these two men are the same I did not take it serious kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nafikiria and I know our police and DCI are more professional. Mm. Once they hear this issue, our tafuatilia here say, mm. they will come down and investigate. Mm. Only kuandikiwa statements, wakati haya mambo ya litokea, mm. the OCS and the OCPD from Kilifi, andika statement, and they told me, Pastor, we know you. Mm. And they, how did they come to know me? A place of 45,000 people who mm. easy run that church bila police kuingia hapo mm. so 24 hour clock ma police walikuwa wanazunguka anga new life mm. the OCS or area OCS told me chochote kikifanyika hapa ijulikane sisi atokuwa hapa itatuweka mashakani mm. so we have to be here mm. to be here means ata mahali ambapo nalala they could come in any time mm. and they could